Brian Coates, welcome to another Loot Crate here on Pastiche of Skin. It's good to see you again. Let's get inside this Firefly Cargo Crate. This one's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to getting it. This month is Zoe Month. Oh, God, our warrior, our warrior princess is here and we need to see what she brought us. Oh, let's get inside. Opening up the crate. Oh, obviously there's going to be the cute thing. Well, let's take a look at Chion the Wine. How's it going, guys? Notice anything a little bit different? Think things are a little bit better? Worse? I don't know. We've had to make a few changes here at Pass Easter Skin. We're still doing the crates the same way we always have done. It's just the fact that we have to, um, obviously, change the background. If you like what you see, make sure to comment underneath the video and tell me that you don't mind the new setup, but we'll see how it works. Because, I mean, what we used to be able to do with the, the big square corners and me being to the side and being able to gesticulate and talk about stuff, it's not going to work quite so well as we originally hoped or originally did. Well, you'll see how we're going to work it out. But especially, I'm glad it was for one of these Firefly crates so we can get something different because you can actually see over my shoulders the crate ones that we've already gotten previously sitting on the shelf. <laughs> not even be actually on proper focus because of the way the camera has to work. So let's just get talking about the t-shirt. As always, Luke Crate bring us brilliant t-shirts and I like this one. Our warrior princess brings us a warrior fisherman <laughs> or fisher lady or a fisher person, a fisher price, I don't know. But yeah, on black with a kind of like slightly faded antique shirt design. Chinese with a spear fishing, well, it's not even spear fishing, it's a lightning, <laughs> lightning fishing <laughs> lady. And a bikini and what appears to be like the look look like He-Man boots, just like the big massive boots with the big giant trim on the side of them. I like the design on this one. I mean, it's not that massively unique or weird. Uh, it just reminds me a lot of the show. It's uh, it looks like one of the advertisements that would have been on the show, uh, on the background of stuff. So yeah, of course it's QM Firefly branded. The material is nice. I mean, looking at it through the light here, it doesn't look that thick, so it looks like a bit of a still of a summer gauge shirt. I'm not too sure about how... Did I actually just ruin the light by doing that? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> the um, material feels a reasonable gauge. It feels reasonably well stitched together. I don't mind that one. Um, black t-shirts always go onto the shelf for me and end up getting worn at some point, but yeah. What do you think? I like the design. I think it's like, I think it's nice and vibrant. It's a good use of color. Normally, um, I'm a bigger fan of the, the like one or two color shirts that kind of like use the material color better. But of course, since this is on black, it's just a void. It's actually using the... It's like, is it even using the actual void ports? No, I think it's actually printing black onto black in some of these bits. Yeah. That's a, that was probably a bit of a bad idea. But t-shirt works for me. Let's try it out sometime. So back into the crate. What have we got in here? Of course, we've got. Mm, I don't know if I want to go with the fig first. Yeah, might as well go with the fig. Um, of course, our QM Mini Masters, which you've been seeing so far. We've already got our Kaylee and Jane sitting up there. This one, of course, is Zoe. Zoe Washburn. I can't never remember her last name. So Zoe Washburn, come on down. And uh, let's see if you can actually see that in the picture in the post. I'm not too sure if it's actually really clear to see because I'm actually. Check and make sure it's actually fairly readable. I like the pose. Um, of course, it's Zoe at battle, so we actually have to take that into account. Uh, see, the thing is, I didn't actually grab anything for cracking this open while I was sitting there, so I'm going to have to actually make use of something to cut her open. There we go. Uh, 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 everything's going wrong here on the Loot Crate first show of a new design. <laughs> of course, it's going to be. Whenever you try something new, everything has to be pernickety and wrong and. <sighs> What can you do about it other than realize a mistake and be prepared for the next time? Let's see, we need something to actually pop that. There we go, that looks more like it. So once that's popped, we can easily cut around the rest of it. Come on. There you go. That should be us nearly done. And around one more side. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that it's actually like a solid snap whenever I actually do get it cut. Bam. <laughs> okay. There we go, there's our Zoe finally released. Oh god. The one thing is about this new setup is that I have the studio lights so much closer to myself, because normally I have them a bit further out, and yeah, I've seen a much wider angle, but to light this kind of like smaller space, it is warm! I, I, I do need, I do like the make, get the makeup done to actually kind of like take away the shine. I was like, I'm gonna need a lot of that in the future. So yeah, there's our Zoe. Take a look at her. Well, she's not gonna focus in right on that, so we'll actually bring her down to the other side angle. 
I mean, as the designs are, these QM Mini Masters are really well made. I like the designs in them. I like the fact that they're not quite uh, photo real. They're a comic book adaptation of the characters, but the little details, like the holsters, the gun belts, they're really well painted. I mean, there's obviously not the really super detailed hand painting, but at least they get the faces right. They're, they actually look really cool. So we're gonna go through most of the way up here. Um, yeah, I think that works so far. With Kaylee chilling out in the background, two of them in the front. I'm sensing you're going to make this into a proper on montage whenever it gets done, done and dusted. You get a better look at that whenever I actually take a, another angle at it after we're finished doing the crate. So what else we got in there? All right. As usual, we have our cubits, our little ones. Blind boxed. What one are we going to get? I mean, every month they do two. They do two in the blind box, which means that we'll never get everybody unless I go hunting for the rest of them. But as it is now, we have the Doctor, Keely, and I was generously given a Jane. So, let's see. Let's who did, who do we get this time? Uh, I'm kind of kind of hoping for a Mal, but I'm really think I should have. If I get a wash, I'd be really delighted. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. It's wash. It's wash. Look, it's washed. Look at this little dude. Oh man, wash always looks awesome. He, he just looks so happy. Dopey, but happy. But uh, yeah, up he goes with the rest of them on the shelf. Actually, you know, just take an over look at him. Look at this. I like the quaff, they did it really well. Even the bit in the back, and of course, his quintessential Hawaiian shirts <laughs> that make him look weird because he wears them over the top of a full flight unit, or flight gear. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm glad I got Wash. It would be nice to get Zoe, but I'm better happy with Wash. I'm looking forward to getting the uh, rest of the main figures because I'm sure there is Inara and the Doc and Mal and anybody else. I mean, there's three out of the five, or three out of the six that you get per year, so who are the other three? It has to be, I'm pretty sure we won't get Inara. Inara's probably the one character we won't get, but we'll get Mal and we'll get Wash, because they're like the main crew, and then maybe, maybe somebody else, maybe the Doctor, or maybe Summer Glow, I, I don't know. It matters how, they actually, like, how they've dealt out with the characters, because I mean, as it is now, they, might, they must be planning to do this crate for like at least two years <laughs> to get all the characters because I, I want Shepard book as well. I want my Shepard, but um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we won't get Grandpa. So let's see what else is inside the crate here. Well, we've got limited edition challenge coin. All right. So what is this? From the 2016 Comic Con exclusive and <laughs> now extra shiny. All right, it's commemorative coin. Let's see. Oh, quantum mechanics, so it's a QM figured coin. So you can check this out. It actually has a nice design to it. Uh, essentially, I'm assuming that is the Republic or the Freedom Fighters, their own one to remember. It's a never, never forget Serenity Valley. But on the back, it actually has its own nice wee design as well. Keep flying. That's actually, it's a really, really cool um, commemorative coin. I personally probably never take it out of its box except for doing this. Maybe I might actually like but drill a hole through it and turn into a necklace kind of thing, but I don't know. I maybe like it as it is. I mean, I don't know how well wearing it would be, because it it is metal. That's, a, that's the one thing to be delighted about. It is a metal coin. I thought for a second it might have been like a plastic mold, but that's about it. No, I like that. I actually like that Firefly commemorative coin. So, um, yeah, unlike uh, commemorative coins of the Queen's uh, inauguration or the Queen's 50th wedding anniversary, I don't know. I prefer to get one of those. So back into the grid to see what else we got. Okay. So a Firefly journal. I like. I do like the binding on this. That's actually really nice. I actually like the um, the strong binding across the spine of it, and uh, the gold leaf actually on the side. That actually looks really really nice. You know, that's actually a really nice notebook. Always love and have notebooks. I'm curious to know if this is a sketch or a notebook. I don't want to open it up. But I've got a feeling it's a sketchbook. Because I can't see any lining on the edge of the pages. That's... I, I know a bunch of friends of mine who would love to have a Firefly sketchbook. Um, I, may, I may keep this one for myself though. <laughs> Guys, if, you, if you're watching the videos, beg, plead, ask for it if you wanna. I might change my mind, I have plenty of sketchbooks about it and I don't want one this nice to have my scribbling in it whenever you qualified fantastic artists could actually do something beautiful with something like this. So, um, yeah, give us a shout. This may be a giveaway item, I'm not too sure yet, and matters how many comments are underneath the video. So, what else have we got in here? Ooh, as usual, we have our usual Firefly pin. 
What's this one? Big damn hero, sir. Had to be a quote. Uh, Let's be bad guys was last month. Everything shiny was before that. We're big damn hero, sir. <laughs> Which is um, probably the, the basic sarcasm of Zoe's character throughout the entirety of the series. It's just like, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Um, I'm just going to listen to your command, go and do what we need to get done, and complain about it a little bit after with my husband. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Yes, we are big damn heroes. That's the theme of the crate, big damn heroes. That's what we are. Every single last one of us, any of the heroes of Randy Valley, are big damn heroes. Oh, right, cool. So we actually have another bumper sticker. Uh, the bumper sticker has actually been in every single crate so far. Uh, notice there's actually one on the side of this one. They do stick one on every single crate, so that you have one that's actually used, and then one that you can keep for yourself. So this one, of course, is exported from Hera, which was um, home of Serenity Valley. Oh, right! Hera, Serenity Valley is on Hera? So isn't Hera? I thought Hera was like a, almost a core world, was it not, in the series? That's kind of interesting. So whenever they go to steal that gun for like in the, Ar not our Mrs. Reynolds, but the, um, the next one with the same girl in it, it was actually on Hera. That's, that's a bit mad. Cool. Didn't even realize that. Uh, in recognition of courageous service to the Grand Army of Independence, Certificate of Valor, Overlanders 57th, Corporal Zoe Alang. Uh, Alien? Ali Alini? Alene? Yeah, 57th Overlanders. We fought so that others can live free. Sturges, Jinsbane, me inside the anvil, Dukang, Cratersville, and Serendi Valley. So, it's actually a Certificate of Valor for Zoe? Um, with her maiden name, not her, um... Well, uh, washes last name. <laughs> I can't even remember what it is. But, uh, yeah. Cool. I, I mean, it's a simple printout on card. Um, I can imagine there's some people who would really take importance of this and maybe frame it. I just think it's a nice piece of paper. Um, with a cool design on it. But, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nice watermarky kind of design to it. I like the print. It, it looks like a certificate of authenticity, but um, there's nothing authentic. It's actually about a, a fictional battle. So, whatever. Of course, we have this month's issue of The Signal, with, um, of course, Zoe, the actress who played Zoe as our main character. Uh, what's her name? Melina. Wife, wife Soup? Okay, so <laughs> it's like some kind of wife soup. Mal, appears we got out here in just the nick of time. What does that make us? Big damn hero, sir. Ain't we just. <laughs> good quotes, good quotes. Uh, da -da -da, the Mal wash conundrum, how the characters get along with each other, how she didn't fall for Mal. How to make wife soup. Alright, I actually like that. Nice recipe in there. Let's let, I may need to share that with the internet. There is the recipe for wife soup. Wife soup is good soup, I'm sure. Um, ooh, so doing soy sauce, soy sauce, chili paste, sesame oil, pork tenderloin, egg noodles. Alright, so it's actually it's, it's a pretty nice soup as well. That, that's actually, it's damn, it's damn done good. Uh, yeah, well, I, I can appreciate that. So of course our featured brown coats for the month as well. People in costume wearing all the bits and pieces. Either that they've won or that they've actually received in their crates. Everybody looks pretty. Everybody looks nice. Um, I wasn't featured in it. Aww. But I think I'm feeling perfectly fine with that. Uh, da -da -da. Yep. With one of the writers, Melina. And this crate's cargo, of course. A little confirmation of everything we're meant to receive in this month's crate. Which was, of course, the coin. The badge. Our figure of Zoe. The uh, notepad. And either Mal or Wash, that makes sense, either Mal or Wash for whenever it's Zoe's crate. Either Mal or Wash to be one of the mini figs that you're going to get. Of course, the t-shirt. And our sticker for Hera. And our certificate of valor. Inside a frame, which uh, looks kind of impressive there, but uh, obviously not what we got. I'm just wondering, is there actually, was there anything for a major crate? Was there actually like a drop crate for this month? No, it doesn't seem to actually mention that there was one. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So we didn't actually get any, um, there was no mega crit, which in the first couple of months they had a figure, like a giant figure of Sarandi itself, which was delivered to a couple of people who happened to be one of them was nearby to the original, to the actual offices of Loot Crate. Um, I'm surprised that they didn't do one this month because last month they actually did one for um, the hat, oh, which was actually like a special mini drop crit that for some people managed to get it and other people didn't. It's disappointing that they have, they, I think they've just abandoned it because of shipping issues possibly, or just the fact they didn't have one for Zoe. Which to be honest, if it was going to be Zoe, it'd probably be one of her guns, or her leather jacket, or her boots. So, something kind of practical and functional, but also pretty badass. So right, just to say for the last thing on this, in our next crate, we're aiming, to, aiming for a bit of mystery, which means we got to be terse. 
Don't write a laconic even. But since we're already talking, might as well tell you we're planning to include another exclusive little damn hero's crew member figure and much, much more. So settle in. Sooner we leave port, sooner we can go on with, get on with the fun stuff. You with the unboxing, us with the watching you unbox. <laughs> Well, that's actually nice of them to say, watching us unbox, so obviously they've watched me unbox this one. This has been the Firefly Crate for uh, Big Damn Heroes. I'm sorry for the delay in actually getting it out to you guys. I've uh, been very, very busy for the last couple of weeks and it doesn't seem to be letting up anyway, form. As you can see, I had to make shift do something when <laughs> you get these crates done and dusted. So, um, of course, look forward to seeing more videos here on the channel. There will be more loot crates this week because I am playing catch up so hard uh, so you look for ones run after another there'll be a firefly crate there'll be a dx crate there'll be a gaming crate there'll be an anime crate soon enough so yeah I, I'm, I'm getting behind myself on all of these so yeah I, I really need to work harder <laughs> I need to work harder than I currently am watching the sweat dripping off my head uh, guys thank you very much for watching this has been Passage of Skin doing a Firefly cargo crate unboxing for Big Damn Heroes there will be another one in two months and there will be more crates to come in the week so thank you very much for watching and I will see all you guys in the next video bye bye